It's nine in the morning. I'm opening the curtain because oh, it's still wet. I got a couple of buckets. It didn't rain that much last night. Look at all my babies here as well. Just indoor plants. Oh, look at that. Everything is flowering. Even indoors, look. My begonia, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Ah. Oh, I need to clean my windows. It's a bit foggy. But I can't <laughs> because the budgie. I can clean it outside or one way. I have to leave some areas where it's sort of foggy or else my budgie would just fly straight into it. Okay, hang on. Move. Need another hand here. Oopsie. Okay. So this is the view from my family room. Where we stay most of the time. Because my lounge room, my formal lounge room, is my formal growing and working area now. Oh look, look what I got. They were just enjoying the rain and look, I got a baby in there, look. See, the leaves just fallen off from the side. And, uh, okay, I pulled it out, pulled it out. Can you see that? For those of you who are concerned about how do you grow your babies? Easy. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, this is Sidum Kanihini. Oh, look at that. See? There you go. You can go in there. So if you just leave it there and then they sort of get into the soil, they become thicker and thicker and thicker. So if you just, even if you just sort of shake them off a little bit and leave it where they are fallen, <laughs> then they will just get thicker and thicker and thicker. And that's how you get a nice thick bunch. Oh, it's starting to rain again. 12 degrees, they said today only. That's our maximum. So it's a bit, there's a bit of a chill in the air and I'll see how much. Okay, I don't really want to get my hair wet because I'm going somewhere today. I'm going to the Cactus and Succulent Society of Canberra. Oh, my poor corduroy. I stabbed that with a tweezer the other day. I accidentally stabbed it. Look, look what happened. Oh, so there's a hole in it. So the, um, a mealybug was trying to mark it. So there's a little white fluff. And I pick it up with a tweezer and then I hit my hand. Oh, never mind, long story short, I stabbed it with a pointy tweezer. And now it's sort of rotting. But it doesn't matter. That's actually healed off, but it's got bigger. It's only a tiny little dingy thing. And look at my Vashon, Vashon. I got void this Vashon. Look at oh, cute flowers. I mean flowers. Babies. There's flowers, of course. And there's also baby. Oh, are you variegating? Oh my goodness, are you variegating as well? This beautiful Beverly, Echeveria Beverly, that's also flowering. Look at that. I would really like to keep the flower because they're pretty, but... And I shouldn't really be doing this because it's still going to rain. But <laughs> I'm doing it just to clean it up. There you go. So you can see the prettiness of this leaf-grown Beverly. So these two are my first babies from... Uh, this is actually number two and number three now. So I've got three Beverly's, but I got more than that now. But these are the first uh, two babies I've got from the mummies over there. Look, hang on, I'm just gonna. Hello, mummy. That's a mummy Beverly over here. That is my original plant. So it's sort of uh, white, powdery with a tone of pink and that one has gone it's got some little red tips which is very pretty okay too many plants and this machete drying up so it's just a matter of tidying up when i see them and this one now look see the fly is attending to the aphids and i normally like to keep the plant like this because that's where you get 
a high chance of having hybrids. So these leaves here, even though they're small, well, compared to the mother leaf, they, they if they strike, you have a chance if they that thing get cross-pollinated by something else, you can have another hybrid of Echeveria that's going to be different. It might even turn out to be a Graptovaria. It might be a Graptopetalum or Pachypytum. It can be a Pachyveria. See, so now I'm still going to leave the aphids. I'm just going to spray that because I really want to dry this one. So to see if I can uh, salvage some leaves for propagating. So those leaves, okay. Too many things to do and I can't do it because it keeps raining. See? Look, dirty, dirty. This is my Pachyveria Scudicariae albocarinata. It's a variegated form of Scudicariae. I like that name, Scudicariae, Scudicariae. I kept calling my Halbin Jerry a Halbin Jerry I don't know, I like the I I, I I. And look how beautiful this Amestro. They are all, and also Ruben, these are all grown from a tiny little plug uh, plant. They were only small when I got them a few months ago and look how big they are now but these ones can still get bigger if you put it in a confined or contained soil. So this is my Reuben, three of them that's in this pot. I think they like to be hugged so the roots hug so if they are more open they tend to go small and if the roots are all sort of bound up they tend to go bigger so that's why that one is growing much much bigger it's twice the size compared to the other open pot that I've got isn't that beautiful and that is why this Romeo Reuben here is growing so well See, look at that, because the pot is uh, restricted, the roots are restricted by the pot. And I'm sure it's still going to go bigger, but that's only about two years old, that Echeveria, Agavoides, Romeo, Reuben, beautiful plant. And it's starting to rain again, so I better go inside. It sort of hold off a little bit. But then now, it's starting again. It's gonna rain, it's raining, man. Okay, look how beautiful this Ionium sunburst. Ionium sunburst. There's a bird hiding over the neighbor wire. Did you go? See? It's trying to get shelter from the rain. As long as you don't eat my plants, that's okay. 